Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Man, I hope y'all are all doing great. Um, <clears throat> it, hopefully there's enough light in here. It's a little dark. It's early in the morning. Uh, we got a project that we're fixing to start today, and this project's been way, way overdue. Let me show you what we got going on. All right, guys. So we made us a little trip to Lowe's, and uh, take note of that little hole right there. That's gonna come into play here in just a minute, <laughs> if your luck's like mine. So we went to Lowe's the other day, like I said, and we picked up some supplies. Uh, we're gonna be doing the lights today. Gonna see if we can put some light on the subject. Uh, our lights, they, uh, they plug in, so we've got our receptacles. I bought uh, receptacles. We're only gonna be doing the, the lights today. And uh, I bought the supplies to, to get it all hung up. Uh, got the fittings for the uh, MC cable and uh, bought uh, several different various other things. Uh, had to go to uh, make a trip to town this morning. And I'll tell you why. These right here, these, uh, some people call them redheads or anti-shorts. What these do is these slide in into the cable once you cut it. They slide into the cable and that keeps uh, your wires from getting cut when you're working with the cable. Well, as I said, this hole comes into play. I got ready this morning to... Um, get started and that's when i noticed these <laughs> were not in there yeah when i picked that up i was unaware that that hole right there is uh where somebody punched their hand in there and took these out a bag of these come with every roll well uh i bought this in the next town over from lowe's so i had to run up town to my local ace and buy an extra bag, that was great. Had to make a special trip to town because someone decided to uh, take my anti-short bushings out. So with that being said, we're gonna get started. Um, we're gonna have a light on this beam. We're gonna have a light uh, on this beam. Same for the other side. We're gonna skip one row over. And the plan is, is to have it wired up where these two lights can be turned on separately as well as these two lights. That way, if uh, I'm not using that bay or just, I just don't want to have all four of them turned on at the same time. We're going to uh, run our light switch by the door. And uh, hopefully by the end of the day, uh, we'll have lights. It's going to be hot. Hopefully it won't be as hot as it was yesterday. And I got my old, good old sweat bandana on top of my head. So without any further delay and losing any more heat, or heat, losing any more of the coolness, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get started. Woo, all right guys, it's hot. But it ain't as bad as it's been being the last couple of days. Last couple days has been brutal. This morning was fairly cool. We got a rain last night. I have probably the coolest breeze I have felt in a couple days blowing, and we do have some coming through the shop. So let me go ahead and get you up uh, to speed on what we have done uh, so far. And guys, I didn't, there's so many videos of people wiring and running their cable and everything. You know, I just, I feel, I feel like something can be done too much. So I, I, I'm not an electrician. Uh, so uh, I don't advise anybody, you know, to take after me, but I, I, I do okay. So uh, I'm gonna show you where we're at. I didn't video it because like I said, there's a, there's a blue million videos out there and uh, some of them are pretty good. So I, I would say that if you are wondering, you know, about doing, running this uh, MC cable and all, you know, just research uh, YouTube is what I did. So let me show you what we so got. Pretty much guys, what I went ahead and done is I went ahead and uh, went ahead and mounted my box. These UFO lights, they plug in. So uh, I ran the uh, MC cable as you can see, and I ran it down to the other light. 
Uh, all four lights are hung. So what we are now waiting on is <clears throat> I need to uh, plumb the wire from here down over in, into that switch right there. So, yeah, um, that's, that's all we're waiting on. This one as well, because these lights are going to be where you can turn these off and then turn these off. Now, originally I was gonna have each bay turn off, but I, I, I changed my mind about that. So it'll be, uh, you can turn off the back too, and then you can turn off the front too. So that's where we're at. Um, I'm gonna knock off for today, and when, we, when I come back, I'll run the wire down and over. All right, guys. It's been a couple days. Um, I went back to work. I had to work a couple days, and plus, uh, I ran into a little issue. I ran into something I didn't like. So I called my friend that's the electrician for some advice because, you know, this is all fairly new to me. So he, luckily for me, he was able to come by that afternoon, thank goodness, and uh, I'll show you what we're uh, looking at here. guys getting it done I'm liking what I'm seeing a lot better there get it down to the switch the wire is nicely hidden a lot more and just on a quick note let me show you this ladder that my electrical friend let me borrow this thing is great this thing <clears throat> these doors right here they open kind of like <laughs> um, kind of like a uh, saloon doors that way you're you can't fall backwards gets us way up top and it's just this thing's awesome i sure appreciate and let me borrow it really secure really stable and i sure appreciate it it has made this job so much easier all right guys it's hot man it's hot but we got something accomplished here let me show you what we've got all right, on the advice of my friend, the electrician, and what he wanted to do, man, that looks way better than that, uh, that grapevine that I had going on. Man, uh, this is so much cleaner, the way he suggested do it and everything, and uh, everything, the wires is hid pretty good. You know, I got, I got some touching up to do for sure. But guys, check this out. We finally have lights. Woo, man, this is a project that's been long overdue. So excuse my mess over here. I, I got a, I'm, <laughs> I've got a mess, so. But we finally have lights. Man. Now, that I have these lights, I can come out here at night and when it's a little cooler and start running the receptacles, having these lights means everything. So we have them where we can turn them off. We don't have to have them all four on. And man, this, I'm sure this camera's not doing no justice, but man, those things are super bright. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to clean up. I'm going to come out here tonight and uh, we're going to turn these lights on and we're going to see just how it looks at night. All right, guys. All right, guys. It's not real dark outside. So I have to get up early for work tomorrow. So I can't wait for it to get completely dark. But it's, uh, it's, it's getting there. So. Let's see, uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow, man. Yeah, that'll work. That will work. Man, those four lights there, I didn't know if maybe I might have to adjust them. I put those, uh, 
I got U-bolts because I thought maybe I needed to adjust the lights. That way I could loosen the U-bolts and slide them one way or the other because there's a couple of feet of uh, cord where the light plugs in. But, uh, man, I tell you, uh, man, we're looking good. Don't, don't see anything wrong with this. Man, what a difference, which, you know, <laughs> when you got absolutely no light, any light is welcome to make a difference. But, all right, guys, these guys, these lights, they are, they are worth what I paid. Hopefully, they'll last. We only needed four like I figured. It looks great in here. It's very well lit up. I, I couldn't ask for it to be any better. I'll put uh, a link to these lights in the description. And, uh, yeah. So, this looks good. Uh, in another video, we've got a whole bunch of parts for the Mustang. I'll be updating you on that. We should be able uh, to fire that off. But anyways, uh, all right, guys, this has been a long time coming. Uh, way overdue. I know I've kind of been here and there with different things. You know, the lights, they, they should have been up a long time ago. But like I told you, life gets in the way. And uh, I'm just glad. Man, it was... It was it was a lot of it was a lot of work, but it's it's paying off. Now we'll get some uh, receptacles <clears throat> run along the walls, and uh, we'll be good to go. P.S. Guys, on a note, side note, guys, we hit over six hundred subscribers. I never dreamed of that. When we reached three hundred, I thought that was amazing, guys. We have reached just a little over 600 subscribers. Thank you guys for each and every one of y'all that have subscribed. Thank you for those that watch the videos. But those of you that have subscribed, you have just absolutely blown me away. And I'm so grateful to each and every one of you. And if any of you watch these videos, if you like, subscribe. We have a couple events coming up in Florida. Events get kind of few and far between because it gets so hot but now that we're coming towards fall we got some events coming and we'll be going to those events so uh those things will be coming in the near future as well as working on the cadet working on the mustang and doing a few more things to the shop but again guys over 600 subscribers thank you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart and i cannot wait to see you in the next video thanks for watching guys